Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Amy and I'm so glad that you decided to join me today. I have taken a little break from recording videos. I usually upload on Mondays and Thursdays, but last week, last weekend, my family and I went out of town and I didn't have a chance to record on the weekend. I was a little behind pretty much all week because of that. So, um, no videos last week, but I'm really excited to be back today. And if you saw the title of this video, I'm going to be sharing my Pan That Palette update for the month of September. I hope that you like Pan That Palette content and other project panning content. And if you are a project panner yourself, I hope that you would click like and subscribe on this video so that you can see how I do during my project pans. I also like to share new items that I have purchased and favorites for the month and um, upcoming later this month, later this week, I'm going to be talking about my kind of fall updated skincare routine. So if you're interested in that for an over 40 gal, um, make sure that you're subscribed so you don't miss that video. So for 2022, I am panning um, Soft Glam by Anastasia Beverly Hills. And I know that this is a very popular palette. It's an OG oldie, oldie palette. And I got this about three years ago um, from the Ulta Black Friday sale when it came in a vault with Modern Renaissance. And when I started using it, I fell in love with it. And I loved using it. And I would use it for like two or three months, take a break for a month, and then as soon as I got back to it, I just had giddy, my heart was giddy with, with joy. So I knew this year when I wanted to do a pen palette that this was going to be the palette that I wanted to do. I already had some pans in it and um, um, I really wanted to kind of see how far I could take this palette. So. Um, I have been, I did take a break during the summer, and so for the months of June and July, I didn't use it at all because I wanted to enjoy the things I was buying over the summer, and um, I wasn't wearing makeup as often during the summer as I am a teacher, and so I wasn't doing much over the summer. So I would like to insert a picture of what it looked like at the end of August, I guess, um, the last time at the beginning of September that I um, took a picture of this palette. And my focus shade for the month of September was Rose Pink. And um, I already had a really good dip going in Rose Pink, and I knew that um, it wouldn't take long for me to be able to really, um, to really make some progress. It's a really soft shimmer shade. And I was correct. I am excited to share with you the progress that I made. Also, I decided in the month of September that I'm going to use orange soda as my eye primer setting shade. I have finished the Tempura in this one and in a Modern Renaissance. So now I'm using orange soda as my setting. So without further ado, let me show you what she looks like now. Um, as you can see, there is tempura. She's all gone. Orange soda is, um, and I am filming this kind of late. It is October the 9th, so I have more um, progress on it than I did at the end. So orange soda is the shade that I'm using to set my lids every, um, every day no matter what palette I use. And here is rose pink. As you can see, I've used up um, an the entire half of it there might be just like the teen like but you really like whatever is over here on this side is not enough to even do anything with so I used up half of it cleared out half and I really want to set a goal for this year for the next two and a half months of this year I want to finish this shade so I did use it in my eye look today um, and so I'm hoping to be able to finish that. 
I used sultry a few times. I don't really count my uses on any of my things. It's, um, it's too tedious for me. Some people love to do that and they love, sorry, my hair. They love to track uses, but it's just too tedious for me. I don't have time, but I know that I did use this a couple times. Um, I think I used Dusty Rose like once. Um, burnt Orange has been a focus shade for me, so I've been able to use quite a bit of that, and I did use it probably two or three times in the month. There's Sienna, Rustic, and Cypress Umber. Um, so my goal for the month of October is to use Sienna at least three times a week. I don't want to use it every day in my looks because um, every month I have a, a partner palette to go with this and this month I picked my Norvina palette and she's just so pretty and I'm really having such a great time using this and even though when you look at it you see the pinks and the purples um, if you really kind of focus your eyes on these three shades and even this one and the shimmers at the top there are several that are really good and lend themselves well for your warm cozy toasty looks so because I haven't used this very often and I feel very inspired by this palette for the month of October. I want to kind of give myself the permission to use this a little more than this one. Oops. I just dug my finger into glistening here. That's okay. Um, so, I just wanted to set a goal that I would use Sienna at least three times a week. And I have managed to do that so far for the past um, two weeks in the month of October. And so, um, again, I am using orange soda every day, though, um, to, oh gosh, that went everywhere, um, to set my eyeshadow primer. So, um, for the month of October, that those are my things. I'm going to continue to use orange soda every day, and I'm going to use Sienna. Um, at least three times a week and I want to continue to just I don't know I'm not setting like usage goals but I do want to use this on a semi-regular basis this rose pink so that I can meet my goal by the end of the year to finish this shade how awesome would that be to be able to have finished two shades in this palette that is so simple yet so beautiful at the same time I hope that you enjoyed my uh, my update. Uh, my soft glam is looking very, very loved, and that makes me really, really happy that I know that I've gotten my money's worth out of it um, because I got both of them for like 40 or $45. So I know over the past three years, I've most certainly gotten my money's worth out of it, and I wanna continue to love it as much as I can until it's no good anymore. So. I hope that you enjoyed today's video, and um, if you will, please make sure that you subscribe to my channel so that you can hear more project panning content and um, a few more updates and things that I'm excited to share with you. I will see you in my next video on Thursday. Bye!